Hey, so look, we back with y'all some white, of course. He on uh, the real street stars, and we talking about the white house. Now I had said on my say cheese when he, I react to the say cheese interview, like probably like a week ago, and I broke it into like five five parts. Some that I wish that that interview included the White Howard situation, but it ain't happened yet. Now my take on the White Howard situation from what I just heard a little bit, I don't I ain't digging into that. I don't care for real, but you know when it be in your face is in your face on the internet. If somebody hopped out the the closet, bro. While your man's is on the bed, ready to get freaky, bro, you wildin'. You wildin'. That is not consent, eh? How you just go have this man pop out the closet and say surprise with this shit swinging or however it went? And thinking this shit finna go down and dude ain't finna get mad. You think cause he, he go like that, he wanna smash everybody. No! No, you got a warm buddy. You say, hey, my man, when you come out of here, I got, I'm gonna have my man's pop out the closet on you. If bro still slag, then he slag. And then ain't no telling. Let's just get into what Charles the White about, man. Let, let's go. That's my little take on it. Real life street stars. Know what time it is. Uh, Dwight Howard. Um. Right there to touch it, sir. Yes. I've been trying to avoid it. What is it? Yes. <laughs> hey, it's crazy because. I believe he been trying to avoid it, bro. But I knew he's gonna get asked about it. He might bug up about it, bro. That's crazy. I've been trying to avoid it. Whatever. Yes. Uh, I mean, when, when you see situations where like uh, uh, a seven foot tall NBA player, ten foot tall, ten foot tall. God. Yeah. Does anything surprise you nowadays when this shit like this come out and you be like, God damn? Does anything surprise you? The White House it didn't surprise me though. It surprised y'all. It just didn't surprise me. When it comes to that, yeah, that still surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big old nigga like that, homie. Uh, I yeah yeah yeah. I used to think them niggas were making up stories. Uh, when they tell you these mythical stories about these strong punks in prison who knock niggas out and and nigga wake up and the punk sucking his dick. <laughs> I, I heard all kind. I said, man, them niggas lying. Ain't no punk knocking niggas out and sucking limp dick and this nigga waking up with a hard dick after being knocked out. How that dick get hard while he knocked out? It's not he just be sucking on it. Well, how the punk make it get up? So you can't make me believe Dwight bro, Howard. Bro, that shit is wild, bro. Somebody knock you out. He said the man knocking niggas out to give him head, bro. He ain't knocking them out for being bullied or nothing. He, he knocking their ass out for get, uh, to give him head. Punk make it get up. So you can't make me believe Dwight Howard. And nigga, me and Dwight Howard Instagram friends. Uh, boy started following me about a year ago. <laughs> I was excited. Boy, Dwight Howard fucking with me. I'm finna go unfriend him today. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you think he follow Batman man Kevin? Nigga, we done, man, we, man, nah, nah, man, I don't know, homie. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, this ain't the first time they said that about that boy. You know, they said he, he, the trance that he said it once before, and, and the smoke went away. It went away. Oh. Uh, then this here come back. And, and the court documents says that he didn't had a disposition somewhere where he done told an investigator. Uh, uh, him, and, him and Kitty done went and picked up a nigga <laughs> uh, off the internet. It's steady being Kitty, man. Kitty a wild boy, bro. Him and, him and Kitty done went and picked up a nigga <laughs> uh, off the internet. Uh, just a regular nigga, so y'all nigga be careful with them blue check niggas a uh, messenger. Say <laughs> <laughs> he picked up a regular nigga off the internet. Kitty went and picked him up. Uh, court documents said boy come back to the house. Uh, uh, Dwight Howard with them big old strong arms <laughs> held him down. Now see. I ain't digging to the story, so I don't know. I'm really just going off. While I said the closet thing, I'm just going off. 
the Joe Budden podcast. So I can be like way off about anything, but I do what I do know. Yeah, it's that much. I can't. I keep hearing Kitty. This is the second time I done heard Kitty. And now I'm hearing that he held him down. I ain't hear nothing about that type shit, bro. But. Held him down. Now, who would have thought the nigga would hold him down and went to sucking on his dick? <laughs> Normally them niggas go to raping you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, normally them niggas, big niggas like that go to rape you, trying to shove dick off in you. Big old nigga like that, becking for some dick, and then going down on some dick. I'm, I'm surprised you two see him letting this video sit up here like this. I know they, I know this shit gotta be like, limited on the ads and shit, bro, but bro, he wild, bro, he saying some real words on his Becking for some dick and then going down on some dick. I was heartbroken. Oh, <laughs> uh, nigga, I've been avoiding this question for a week. Every time I go live, motherfucker hit me. What about the White House? Man, y'all worried about another nigga dick. I wasn't saying the shit he was saying. <laughs> hey, that's funny as hell though. But I don't know why the White House just. He one of them men that's like. You, I like that, bro. You gay, bro. But he like, don't don't call me gay because I'm not really. You is, though, bro. That's just what it is. That's why I feel like he ain't coming out to say, like, I am. Unless he, and, and obviously, I feel like he must just like the attention. He probably happy that shit out, man, and shit like that a little bit. Who knows, man? But that's just what I think. You like that, bro, so just, just admit it. <laughs> Until I saw he was saying the shit he was saying, I said, "Oh man, that nigga did that." No, if they kept, no, nah, homie, you don't, no, nah, you don't avoid this shit. And I'm talking to you, Dwight, nigga. I thought we was Instagram partners, <laughs> nigga. Uh, you supposed to be giving an explanation. All that, what, what I do in my bedroom is my business. <laughs> no, that, that really is his explanation, though. Like you would be crazy if you don't take it as I. Right. Cause if he if he didn't, he'd be like, "Fuck no, hell no, nah. that don't believe the rumors, bro." You know, but he just like he like trolling y'all, trolling him a little bit. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you play basketball for the NBA, <laughs> nigga. You done play, nigga. You Dwight Howard, and if you if you bumping dicks with the dicks, that's our business, nigga. Yeah, that goes into betting and all kind of shit. I mean, got that. Man, nigga, we sports fans, yeah. nigga. We done cheered for you. Niggas don't want your jersey. Oh, uh, no, nah, <laughs> nigga, you got to explain this shit to her. Nigga, you just can't say whatever go in my bedroom and if I like another man, nigga, be a man and say, I like dick if you like dick. Say you want it. Uh, say you need it. Uh, say whatever you got to say. say. But nigga, he say, say you need it. Say that. Say you need it. It's crazy. Be honest. Oh, uh, don't leave us hanging like this here, my nigga. Cause we all know you did that to that boy. Uh, Cause you wouldn't even explain yourself to the detective. Nigga, you know if you done that, or if you didn't do it, you supposed to plead the fifth? <laughs> yeah, you know you supposed to plead the fifth. I got the right to remain silent, I ain't saying shit. <laughs> so mind you, he moved to Taiwan to go play out there and there. Should he be required or need to come out and tell people his business? No, he doesn't, caught listen, up? Now, now listen, what a nigga do with his no, why? Why? Do he gotta go wherever he gotta go and say, I like women? Do men gotta do that? Like that. When they be coming to this shit, y'all just be thinking too hard. But I, but I be trying, I, I would have to put myself in. You wouldn't wanna know that though. At the end of the day, you wouldn't wanna know that. If, if like, you was on the basketball team, football team, one of the, the quarterback or some whatever, well, you, he cool. He ain't never came off to you or none of that. Like, he act like a regular guy. And then, weeks later, months later, years later, he like, yeah, you know, I like men. You gonna be like, whoa. So you you wanna fuck with me? No. Nigga, he ain't tried none of that shit this whole time. So y'all just making it awkward for no reason, bro. Until he make a pass at you, then it's a problem. But if you won't know, then it'll just be regular. Like, he's just a regular guy. And tell people his business no, he doesn't listen. Up. Now, now listen. What a nigga do with his dick? <laughs> really, I ain't I bidding now? <laughs> but we curious. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Nigga, we all want to know. <laughs> we all want to know. But he can't fool nobody. Uh, nigga, no, everybody know Taiwan is where they got all them boy and girls at, my nigga. They got a hey. whole name for him over there. Hey. Every minute they know they come hey. on, my nigga. Everybody, everybody in the world know between them and them, them what's them, them geisha, them geisha girls. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Gangsters. Yeah, come on, homie. They groom them up to be that. I, man, homie, if you know history, uh, uh, homie, that's, nigga, that's their thing. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 they thing, homie. So for for a nigga to get caught doing what he's doing, uh, he over there with Taiwan. Yeah, he said he went over there where he's supposed to. Where they doing that type shit? Uh, nigga, he King Kong over there. <laughs> <laughs> really, he literally he King Kong over there. Cause ain't no Taiwan people that tall. Man, that nigga, man, that nigga torpedo the height of some of them people. <laughs> God damn. So yeah, he walk around like King Kong. And he get to hide over there and play how he wanna play without the shame. Man. Cause he don't look shame, do it. I think look confident in telling the That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. He seemed cool about it. He not tripping off none of that shit, bro. He don't care. For real at all. He I am doing me. I'm straight. Y'all too worried about me. <laughs> about that shit. That hey. nigga look confident in telling the fuck us about that shit. <laughs> he ain't drop his head not one motherfucking time. And he, yeah, 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 no. Uh, uh, and, and, and let me just say this, homie. What, what, we laughing about it, but, but he got a son that's affected by this. Yeah, he got, he got a future. Nigga, he got a son, nigga, that, 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 that been involved into some you know what be crazy? He do this a lot though. He'll say like how this affects a child and then me getting older myself, bro. If you look back, not even just at your childhood, but like the childhood, like your cousins, your friends and shit, and you see how they how shit affect them, he right. Like this gonna be a part of this child's trauma. However it's being handled, it's gonna be a part of the child's trauma. And as he get older, that shit from back in the back gonna affect him in the front. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how old he is though. That's the thing. But for a child and white to say he got to be a child, child. You know what I'm saying? Uh, inappropriate behavior sexually in his public, right. and now all of that is starting to tie in to what his son done. done. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you on, on, on what? What he mean though? What, what the fuck his son? He said his son done. done. What the fuck his son do? to what his son done done. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you on, on, on one side, we laughing. But if, if you look into this situation. People are affected. Nigga, if people are affected. Uh, there's, a, there's a video that's now resurfacing when a nigga played basketball and he grabbed a nigga dick. I just seen that, uh, like yesterday. I just seen that, like. Oh, so that shit not okay. Look, I done seen some. <sighs> Bro. Young boys <laughs> be on some real wild shit. And I'm talking before Facebook, bro. When I was a shorty, bro. I'm talking about these young niggas was doing some crazy ass shit. Yeah, they got girls now. But they was doing some wild shit. And then for him to be a grown man doing that, that shit not okay. I don't see how having niggas, boys, men, anything could just be okay with playing like that. It's just not some shit to play about. And the boys I'm talking about was playing. They they was playing, but that shit was wow. To play basketball and he grabbed a nigga dick. I just seen that like yesterday. I just seen that like on, so much, on, on, so on, intentional. on the court. Yeah, like like to see it no. with this story coming out, I'm like, God damn. Come on. That's harassment. Say in the in the, in the most violating of ways. Say uh but oh my soul, who was it? Was it a rookie? Was it a rookie? Or it had to be somebody that he smashed already or something. Cause I don't like see nobody doing that to no grown man and him not taking offense to that. Like, dude, you fucking stupid. And punching his ass. Like you gonna risk your whole career for that. Fuck is you is you is you stupid, bro? Something wrong with you. But 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 think about this. 
the other two niggas in the room with the humping situation. Yeah. So this shit been. That's what I was talking about, though. <laughs> This shorty that I talked about was humping, bro. And I was like, what the fuck is y'all? I'm talking about they were doing that shit real quick and they was stopping. Like, and one of them was like, boning. Like, what the fuck is y'all tweaking over here for, bro? I I didn't I ain't hang around them niggas. I was over there with somebody who be kind of hanging around the niggas, bro. And that shit just weird as hell. The other two niggas in the room with the humping situation. Yeah. So yeah. this shit been in 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 this league. <sighs> This shit been been in this league, homie. Uh, it, it's just that uh, they they hide behind whatever they hide behind. So 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 with this so with this happening, you now having people who are taking his son's situation and highlighting that and comparing the two. Yeah, they gonna do that. They gonna, They're do, gonna that. do that. Uh, yeah yeah yeah. So, nah, homie. So a, a, as a man, uh, if, if this if, if this was to happen. Uh, no, nah, nigga, you come out and you, you have to defend your honor as a man, unless this is his way of just saying I am and y'all leave me alone. Basically. And so, maybe we should accept that. Yeah. Maybe this is his way of saying, yeah, I am, so what? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Without Shut him up. saying it. Because, nigga, you supposed to come out and say, no, nah, I ain't done that. I ain't suck now, nigga, dick. Nigga, you got me <laughs> fucked up. I ain't done you that. You gonna come out and swinging. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't done it. <laughs> nigga, he, 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 he just came out and did this. <laughs> wait, wait for more blows. Yeah, he just yeah. came out and put his deuce up. No, nah, you gonna be swinging. No, nah, I ain't say that. Nigga, got me God. fucked up. All right, man. Yeah, that's Charles White, the White House thing. That's clearly, that's his way of saying it, bro. At the end of the day, he said what he said, man. He don't have to say, I'm gay. Surprise. Yes, I do this to me. I love it. He don't have to do none of that. He said, it's none of y'all business. That's what it is. It's none of our business. But if you ain't going to get on the other side and say, fuck no, y'all tweaking. It's a rumor. I don't do that. I don't go that way. I love women. You know, then it'll be like, all right. You know, he defending it. But if he not defending it, then... That's just what it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation. Really, nobody should care. It's, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not really even surprised. But when it comes down to what happened, him having to fight this case and what's going on, it's just crazy, though. You know what I'm saying? But uh, catch you on the next reaction.